Hi, my name is Miranda Stanglin, and I'm a mathematician. And this is how to do two-step equations with rational numbers in grade 7. Basically, when we look at two-step equations, what we are doing is solving for unknowns. And unknowns are essentially variables represented by some letter, usually x when we're first starting out in seventh grade. We take x and we combine it with other numbers that are constants and we try to figure out what number does x represent. So let's just take an example problem. Let's say that 3 plus x is equal to 5. If I want to figure out what x is, what I need to do is isolate it. And in this problem, I'm going to isolate it by taking away the constant 3 by subtracting it on the left side of the equal sign and also subtracting it on the right side of the equal sign. Then I have x all by itself and I have the subtraction problem 5 minus 3 which gives me 2. So in this problem I know that x is equal to 2. x changes from problem to problem. Let's just do another two-step equation. Let's take uh, 7 minus x is equal to 10. So what I want to do again is isolate my x variable by moving 7 over to the other side. So I subtract 7 from both sides and I have minus x is equal to 10 minus 7 which is 3. I still have a negative sign on my x so I actually have to divide by a negative 1 to get rid of that symbol and I divide this number by a negative 1 to get rid of it and I get x equals minus 3 which is another two-step equation. The nice thing about working with equations and figuring out what the variable is is you can actually check your answers. Here we said that the answer for x was 2 so I put the number 2 into the equation and I say is that true? So 3 plus 2 gives me 5 which is what we wanted. And the same thing over here. 7 minus a minus 3 is equal to 10. When you have two negative symbols, it becomes a plus sign. And 10 is equal to what we needed it to be up here. Another two-step equation is um, one that involves multiplication. So if we had 3 times x is equal to 15, and I want to isolate x on its own, I divide here by 3, divide by 3, and I get x is equal to 5. And if I want to check my work like I did up here, I take x, I put it in, and I see if it's true. Is 3 times 5 15, which is equal to the 15 that we started with. So this has been a little bit on two-step equations, solving them with rational numbers for seventh grade.